Suppose you want to know how many people in the U.S. like chocolate, percentage-wise. So you call up one random person and ask, do you like chocolate? If they say yes, your best guess is 100%. Yeah, it's a bad guess since you're only asking one person, but it'd be your best guess at the moment. After calling 500 people, one by one, you find 100 chocoholics. So you finish your poll by saying, okay, according to my sample, 20% of people like chocolate. Now, if you were to ask another group of 500 random people, you'd expect to get a different result just by chance. I mean, if you're calling people at random, you're probably not going to get the same 500 people. So long as you're calling a large number of people, the answers people give are independent of one another, and you perform a large number of polls, the central limit theorem tells you how the results of your polls will be distributed. It says the results of the battery of 500 person polls will form a bell curve centered around the percentage of people who like chocolate you wanted to know. <laughs> how neat is that? That's pretty neat. All the while requiring virtually zero knowledge about the population itself.